App is listening test. Take time to read the questions by using the pause button. You'll hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B, or C. One. You hear a woman talking about her job. How does she feel about it? A. It's boring. B. She likes it. C. She finds it difficult. Before I came here, I worked in sales, and really, I found the monotony getting to me. Every day was essentially the same. So I took a complete change of direction, retrained, and here I am. It's been almost four years now, and I can honestly say that no day is like the one before. What's particularly rewarding is that I'm helping people who find themselves in difficult situations due to any number of reasons: health problems, unemployment, to name just two. What's great is that more often than not, I can make some sort of difference to their lives. Two, you overhear a man telling a friend about a film he saw recently. What type of film was it? A, a romance. B, an action film. C, science fiction. Well, it was okay, I suppose. But to be honest, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. And the final scene was just awful. They're looking up at the stars with faraway looks on their faces, when suddenly all these rockets and fireworks start exploding in the sky. He's a tough New York cop, and she's an investigative reporter. And at the beginning, they hate each other, <laughs> but you've guessed it. He saves her from a professional killer, and it's not long before they're running into each other's arms in a crowded subway station. Three. You hear a man telling his colleague about his holiday. What was the problem with it? A. He became ill. B. He argued with his partner. C. He couldn't see all the things he wanted to see. So, how was it? It wasn't exactly the best two weeks I've ever had. On the first night, we went out to a local restaurant, and by the time we got back to the hotel. Beth was feeling sick and dizzy. The hotel doctor had a look at her and said it was food poisoning. How awful! It wasn't so bad. It meant that I could just sit around the pool and relax while she was sleeping, instead of dragging me around to see every monument and museum like she usually does. <laughs> You're terrible. Don't worry. She got her revenge on the second week. I just wanted to relax. But we had to see as much as we could in the time we had left. We ended up shouting at each other in the middle of an ancient convent, and then didn't speak until we got home. <laughs> It's all okay now, though. We're both just glad to be back. Four. You overhear a conversation in a supermarket. What are they discussing? A. Returning an item. B. Breaking an item. C. Buying an item. There you are. I was beginning to worry. Sorry, I was just looking at one of those vases on sale. They're really cheap, and I thought it would look good on the TV. And if it didn't, I could just bring it back with the receipt and get my money back. But just as I turned it over, the handle came off in my hand. So I just put it down and came back here. I hope nobody noticed me. Well. Let's just pay for all this stuff and get out of here as soon as we can. Five. You hear an advertisement on the radio. What is being advertised? A. A festival. B. A new music album. C. A cake. All this week in Abbey Road Park, you can sample locally made biscuits, cakes, and desserts, including last year's prize-winning carrot cake. Dozens of rides and stalls for all the family, as well as music on the main stage from eight. Local band Freddie and the Pace Setters will be performing songs from their new album Phenomenal. Tickets cost eight pounds for adults, four pounds for under sixteens. Six. 
six. You overhear a woman talking on the phone about her new boss. What is she worried about? A. Losing her job. B. Being given extra work to do. C. Her boss is inexperienced. I know, but that's not really that important. She's only my age and hasn't been doing this very long. But management seem to think she's quite capable, and I suppose they must know what they're doing. It's more that with all these cuts she's proposing, most of the junior staff will be out of work and will have to look for other jobs. And who's going to do their share of the work here? You've guessed it. I'll be stuck with it and expected to finish everything on time as always. Seven. You hear an actor talking on the radio about his new film. What does he say about preparing for the role? A. He had to learn a new skill. B. He did lots of research. C. It was physically challenging. It seemed like quite a challenge when I heard about the project. I mean, playing somebody like Buster Keaton, who performed all his own stunts, having to jump from a horse onto a train—it's a bit too much for me. I can't even ride a horse. But after reading the script, I was relieved to see that wasn't necessary at all. It's mainly focused on his personal life, and so I wouldn't have to face such physical torments. Instead, I spent hours every day. For about three months, in fact, watching DVDs of his old films, studying his mannerisms and facial expressions, and to be honest with you, I'm more than a little proud of the result. Eight. You overhear two people talking about a car. Why are they talking about the car? A. It's the man's first car. B. It's a brand new car. C. It has broken down. So I know you're dying to tell me. How's the car? To tell you the truth, I'm beginning to think I should have waited a bit longer. I may have made a mistake and rushed into buying it. I just imagined it there in my garage and had to have it. Why do you think you've made a mistake? It's just that I've spent everything I had on it. I could have just bought something second-hand or kept my old one running for another year or so. If I have to take it for repairs any time soon, I don't know how I'll be able to pay for it.